Okay guys, welcome back to another episode on your Dr. DIY channel. So today this is a Hyundai Ioniq. It seems like the radio speakers have already given way. Okay, so let's just go to AM, right? So, we go to settings, we go to sound. Okay, so if we put it to here, we set to 30, yeah? so there is sound. There is sound. No sound. No sound. So the back two speakers located at the door have already given way. Okay? Not only that, at times there will be some weird noise coming from the front two speakers as well. So I think we are going to change all the speakers, especially the door speakers. Okay? And then we will also inspect the tutor. So without further ado, let's dismantle the back door and see what's up with the speaker. This is the back right hand side, okay, the door. So there is not much information available on the YouTube. So I think we just have to go with it. So there is a screw here, Philips screw. We will undo the screw. I don't see any more screws, okay? In fact, this cover also cannot remove, okay? And then slowly we will pry from the side because there's an opening somewhere here, yeah. So we will try to pry from here first. So I got a pry tool. If you can see at the below of the door here, there is a groove opening here. So put this guy inside, right? Pry about there and then you press it this way. Why press it this way? Because this is uh, rubber, so it doesn't damage the paint. Okay, so once you do that, automatically you will see the panel comes up. Okay, then you slowly just go about it. Lift up. Okay, I think the panel is already done. Yes, I already undo the screw. So now we just have to lift it up. So now this cover basically, it's a U clip. It sits on this bar here. Okay, so you can just simply hold it out like that and the cover is totally out. Okay, so bear in mind, we got some few things to undo here. First thing is the wire. Of course, the wire is quite easy. Okay, from the socket, you can see there, right? So just press this and pull okay so the wire is out second is this latch now there is a way to undo this just press here and gently pull this thing out likewise okay need not to remove the screw okay so the panel has already been taken out okay so this is how the panel is from inside okay so this speaker doesn't work so to get to the speaker we got to open up four screws one two three and four to undo the speaker wire just press here and pull right so what is the problem with this speaker? Why doesn't it make sound? Okay, so we're going to do a connectivity test. We touch the first pin. Okay, after the first pin, we touch. We touch here. There is sound. Second pin, there is sound. So, pin to here, there is sound. So here, got sound. Got sound. Here, to the back wire. There's a wire here. So this wire is going up here, coming down. So here to here, no sound. Here to here. So the culprit has been identified. It is the joint here. Have already broken. Okay then. 
okay so you can see from the image this is the resin glue which is in black color and the wire has been taken out from the resin glue okay so obviously there is a hollow region there so we move towards the wire now this is the speaker wire which has been taken out from the resin glue so this wire shows now there is element of conduction okay the white region shows the element of conduction so when we slowly examine the entire length of the wire we will see that at the connection of the resin glue the wire has been completely corroded okay there is no any element of conduction so this is the main reason why the speaker is not working there is no flow of current to the wire due to the interaction of the wire with the resin glue with enhanced corrosion due to the presence of water during wet condition which is coming inside the windscreen okay looking at the wire now which is inside the resin glue you can see that the neighboring contact of the wire with the resin glue it is heavily oxide so uh, turning the speaker the opposite direction and looking the wire from the downwards position there's also sign of oxidation as you can see it by the green color okay so this could be the main culprit why the speaker doesn't work we are going to open up this panel today yeah? so first things first we just take out this by means of your hand okay just pop it out like that we have to undo a screw here okay Phillips just take out the rubber panel here right this is the spot okay so you get your pry put it in that's it now that's all you want to do then gently just put your hand and open it so now the entire door panel is hanging on the bar here hold it likewise right so there are two things you have to undo first is that wire and second is this clip just press here okay it comes out and this wire here you press and you pull you have one more here because this is the power window switch so you got to press pull okay so three things huh? so the tutor is mounted here so we will need to see how is the tutor because they are using the same adhesive uh, this is the clip same thing it's two pin so there are four screws for this speaker okay we have undo the four screws so we just gently take it out okay and there we go Okay, so we took out the tutor to check whether the tutor is okay or not. You just take a button battery, okay, and then you just touch the two polarity. You will see the tutor buzz a bit, means it is okay. You can hear? So it's working. We are not going to change this tutor. So we're going to put it back. So this was how it came out just by two screws. This is the unboxing of the Infinity Primus speaker. 603 CF, 180 watt peak. So these are all the components you will get in the box. It comes with a tutor and also the crossover. Of course the spacer is purchased separately. 
okay it comes with a one year warranty you can upgrade your warranty or extend your warranty for an additional six months upon filling up this warranty card and this is the manual for the speakers So after evaluating, uh, we are going to use back the exact bracket. We are going to cut, take out the speaker because this is mounted to the magnet. So we have already undo the two cables. Okay, simply just heat it up and take it out because we're going to use back the same socket.
Okay, this is the end of part one. Make sure you guys follow for part two. We will discuss more in detail. See you there.